Now, in a few moments, we are going to do a boring science film. Like any other science film you would watch, even with slides. Well, they're kind of slides. And it's going to sound like we were reading, but we're not actually. We're just talking in the boring, monotonous voice that all science spokespersons on these films do. So don't think we're like reading from a script or anything. Okay? Is that right, Betty? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. The human nervous system. A scientific miracle. Please advance the film at the sound of the agonizing scream. The central nervous system is composed of a basic unit. This basic unit is the neuron. Now, there are three types of neurons. The sensory neuron. The motor neuron. And the interneuron, not pictured here. The human nervous system is like a tree. It branches out into two main parts at first. The central nervous system, which is the control center and coordinates body activities. And the peripheral nervous system, which carries messages to and from the nervous system. Now the central nervous system, or the CNS, is said to be the leader, or the boss. Hey, do this. Take this there. Now, do that. The peripheral nervous system, or the PNS, is said to be a workman, or a messenger. Here boss, I got a letter for you boss. Message boss, here boss, here's the message. Back to the neuron. The neuron is composed of three main parts. The control center of the neuron is the cell body. The, other, the next part of the neuron is the dendrite. The dendrites carry impulses to the neuron. Part, the axon carries impulses away from the neuron. Neurons work, one might ask. Well, here's how. Ah! Like, now, let's see. now, let's see an example of stimulus and response. Ow! Now let's see it in slow motion. Stimulus. Oh! Response. Stimulus. <sighs> response. Uh, and, and now let's hear some more about this fascinating topic. Ah! But what, you know what we forgot? A stimulus causes an impulse. The impulse is started in the sensory neuron. It travels up the spinal cord to the uh, brain. In the brain, it is transferred to motor neurons. Oh. The impulse then travels back to the muscles, allowing them to react. Ooh. Neurons do not always carry impulses. Those that do not are said to be resting. Ah, ha, ha. this is fun. Ah! Neurons work on an all or nothing law. They either transmit an impulse or they don't. Large amounts of sodium ions are contained outside the cell. These ions are not able to pass through the cell membrane. Hey, let me in! Let me in, please! Ah! Potassium ions are contained within the cell. These ions are able to pass freely in and out of the membrane. Hey, sodium, look! In, out, in, out! Ha <laughs> ha, you're a loser! Ah! There is a positive charge on the outside of the neuron and there is a more negative charge on the inside. A neuron in this condition is said to be polarized and ready to do work. Ah! 
can't take it any longer. Oh, 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 oh. Shut up and put the sign over your face. When a stimulus excites the neuron, the pores in the membrane open, allowing the sodium to travel into the cell. In at last! In at last! Thank God Almighty, I am in at last! After the impulse has passed, the sodium moves back outside the cell and the neuron becomes polarized. Here we go again! Neurons are not connected directly together. There is a gap of space between the axons and the dendrites called a synopse or synoptic cleft. When an impulse has, has to travel across the synoptic cleft, they do so with neurotransmitters. Amen. When there is a stimulus, these vesicles burst, releasing chemicals that carry the impulses across the synapse between the axons to the dendrites. And now, here's some fascinating information on the central nervous system, narrated by Christopher Miller. <laughs> the CNS is composed of the brain and spinal cord the brain being the main control center of the nervous system. The spinal cord sends messages to and from the brain. <coughs> Both are protected by uh, fluid, bone, and three layers of connective tissue called meninges. The fluid in which the brain floats is, protects it from impact. <coughs> the spinal cord of an average human, whom we all know has 2.3 children, is approximately 45 centimeters long. The brain is made up of three uh, main parts, the cerebrum, cerebellum, and brainstem. The cerebrum controls conscious activities, memory, language, and senses. The cerebrum is gray on the outside and white on the inside. This is because of uh, myelin-covered axons. Ah! The thalamus receives and sends sensory signals. All senses are transmitted through the thalamus except smell. The hypothalamus controls homeostasis related functions. It connects the nervous system and the endocrine system. <laughs> Balance, posture, and coordination are all controlled by the cerebellum. <laughs> the brain stem is made up of things such as the midbrain, pons, and medulla oblongata. <laughs> the pons and midbrain are pathways to the brain. The medulla oblongata controls the involuntary activities. This has been a production of Science America.